the way. The way. 94.5 and 93.7 FM. The hits. The way. The way. 94.5 and 93.7 FM. The hits. The way. The way. 94.5 and 93.7 FM. The hits. The way. The way. 94.5 and 93.7 FM. The hits. The way. The way. 94.5 and 93.7 FM. The hits. The way. The way. 94.5 and 93.7 FM. The hits. The way. The way. 94.5 and 93.7 FM. The hits. The way. The way. 94.5 and 93.7 FM. The hits. Only on the way. 94.5 and 93.7 FM. Has the free loans for your every need. Courts have you covered, best believe. Are the kids headed back to school and you need money now? Call Quartz Ready Cash and get money in your bank account in as little as 24 hours with our back to school promotion. There's absolutely no deposit required. All you need is a government ID, a utility bill, your pay slip, and a job letter. It's that easy and hassle free. Plus, if you apply today, you can take advantage of our reduced interest rates and pay nothing for 60 days. Call us today at 457-8100 or visit us online at www.readyfinancecaribbean.com and let us help you get the funds you need for back to school. Conditions apply. We got it all. We undergo. Courts Ready Cash, you already know. You know it. Courts Ready Cash, ready when you are. That's right, Courts Ready Cash, ready when you are. If you're stressed right now, your financial stress right now may be, because we are stressed for everything, <laughs> but if your financial stress is uh, back to school, then of course, Courts Ready Cash has you uh, covered. If it is that you have uh, too many bills and you need the money to pay off something because you're tired of them debt collectors calling you, or you have an, a, re- a repair or an emergency pops up, you need a new vehicle, whatever that case may be, Courts Ready Cash has you covered you could get the money you need now up to twenty thousand dollars no deposit is required and as we always tell you the service is fast and hassle free we're talking same day approval with courts ready cash all you need one form of government id your job letter a recent salary slip and a utility bill and you're good to go you could visit their website readyfinancecaribbean.com or you could head to any courts uh, location and take advantage start fresh with the cash you need of course ready cash ready when you are it's tuesday which means we're going behind the business of another uh, successful business here on island and we're happy to introduce our guests today we're going behind the business of blue media marketing which is a social media marketing and consultancy business here in senusha she'll give us some more info on that but she's also going to be sharing a little bit of tips with you so if you are tuned in you do have a business, you have your social media that you want to pick up a following because, you know, everything happens with uh, social media right now. Uh, she's going to share some tips with you today. So tune in for that. Ensure that you stay through the whole program today. So let's welcome our guest. She is the owner of Blue Media Marketing, Shereen Joseph. Thank you so much for joining us today. <laughs> Thank you for having me, Masana. All right. So we're, we're here to talk about a whole lot. And uh, congratulations. Congratulations on on your business. Tell us a little Thank more you. about yourself before we get into Blue Media Marketing. Tell us a little more about Shireen. Okay, so I'm Shireen. <laughs> <laughs> I am 29 years old. I um, I mean, everybody knows me as Shaisha. So if you follow me, you know me personally. You know everybody calls me Shaisha. I have been doing sales and marketing for a very long time, probably almost like seven years or so. I always used to be the background person, mm-hmm. doing everything in the back. I never wanted the exposure and stuff. But, you know, um, when you're good at something, you know, and people push you um, to do your own thing, you know. So that's how I end up 
you know, being having my own business and stuff like that. I, I <laughs> it's not something you thought would ever happen. I. I always knew I didn't want to work for somebody my entire yeah. life, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but starting a business was not something that was really in the forefront at the time. Mm-hmm. Um, but because I was doing so much work, so much good work, my friends encouraged me um, to start my own business. They said I was really good at marketing and stuff. So in 2017, I got my very first client. I didn't have the the business wasn't registered or anything at the time. Um, my very first client was Nature's Best. They believed in me from the start. So um, they spent three years with me. Um, wow. So that was my very, very first client. And after that, it's just been um, me learning, growing, and, you know, being what I am today, nice. basically. Now, you did say you st- you started off in the uh, sales industry, uh, sales and marketing, and uh, you were really good at it. What exactly, um, if you if you do have something that you could pinpoint that you became a star talent at, um, in terms of all the recommendations that people give uh, for you and a lot of people encourage you that you were doing so good, was it the, um, you did say you were in the background, but what exactly, the day-to-day transactions for your employer, you were able to successfully complete your task, or what, what was your shining light so one of the main things i was able to do is secure sales that was i was very very good at that i really am very good at, at that at still. sales okay <laughs> yeah. and um the marketing aspect came in when i started working for a media house an mm-hmm. online media company and um i started managing a page and stuff like that and then this the the social media and marketing part actually came in um and i realized i was really good and i started you know um doing research and you know getting my um certifications and stuff like that so right now i am certified in digital media and marketing strategies social media marketing i also do a, a did a business course with the dream to reality women in business um um course mm-hmm. <laughs> um and i've been doing a lot of stuff i i actually i'm now doing social media training so if like a small business wants to a small business owner doesn't want to pay somebody to actually do all of the social media for them they can actually get trained and do it themselves nice uh let's go back to that first time (laughs) that you had when you when you decided to have your business like you said it wasn't even registered you didn't announce you had a business and you had a reputable company um on island approach you and say we'd like to work with you what was that experience like for you it was really surprising i didn't expect any business to want to work with me because um previously when i tried to work with businesses the first thing they will ask you how many followers do you have on instagram Mm -hmm. and uh, honestly with marketing especially on social media your followers don't mean anything it's all about engagement because if people don't engage with your your content if they don't engage with your page how are they going to purchase stuff from you so at the time i thought followers was all and then people used to tell me no they don't want to work with me because i don't have enough followers and stuff like that and so you know it was really surprising when um nature's best decided to work with me they gave me the chance and i really built myself from that um from working with them actually okay well you mentioned something about the followers which is a a a peeve (laughs) for me because i a lot of people don't understand that and i guess it, it it has to do with um what we see being portrayed internationally where followers is what makes it count so we'll we'll get to that <laughs> a little later on because i really want you to break it down for mm-hmm. uh, listeners today especially other business houses because this is really important um but yes yeah, so you had that uh that big client and you were able to service them on your own you worked on your own at that time i worked on my own mm-hmm. for the three years i worked on my own when i and then i registered my business with We've connect services, big them up, big mm-hmm. them up, big up. Um, registered my business, and after that, I started working. I, I did work for some time on my own, but shout out to my best friend. My best friend is my right hand, and also Sherik. Mm-hmm. Um, these two have been very pivotal with the um, success of my business. They've helped me a lot, and without them, my business wouldn't be what it is today. Um, so now I don't work alone. Uh, my friends really, really helped me out with every single thing. 
Um, so yeah. All right. it. So when you finally did get registered, you you felt a little better that you were armed and um, more established that you could approach the other clients who always asked for how many followers you have, <laughs> um, and and take it from there. So you've been servicing other clients as well. Yes. Big and small. Yes, I've, I, I've, I don't really focus on the big businesses per mm-hmm. se because most of them already have their act together. Mm-hmm. But with I focus more on small businesses because when I started, I realized that a lot of small businesses had it hands down when it comes to a media such as radio, TV. But when it comes to their online presence, it was really lacking. And you know, we were switching to a digital era. And um, with that, a lot of businesses were struggling. They still are struggling with their online presence. So that is one of the main reasons why I started Blue Media Marketing. And I do work with other biz- established businesses, but my main focus are startups and small businesses because they really, really, really do need the help. Yeah. And a lot of small businesses, um, they don't have... Uh, the funds to afford to pay a company to do everything for them. So I like the fact that um, you have consultancy services available. You have a training as well. So you teach them how to do it and then they could take it uh, from there. A lot of people don't like to share uh, their their secrets, share their methods because you know you feel like you're, you're going to lose money because they're not going to come to you anymore. So it's really nice that you're doing that. Actually not. You mm-hmm. don't lose money when you share your secrets. And that's the, the mystery conception people yes. have yes uh, actually when you show people that you actually know your stuff and you you give them information they're more drawn to you because since i when i first started i was like sell 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 because we on social media we have to sell mm-hmm. but i got some advice from another social media marketing marketer from trinidad mm-hmm. and she gave me some pointers as to how i should build my business and i took a different approach from selling to actually giving information providing information and helping and that has worked really well i literally don't have to do any marketing any form of marketing for my business all i have to do is just post information and people naturally gravitate towards my business yeah because you know now everything comes at a cost uh, so the fact that we could just go to your page, we could learn something and implement it is, is a great deal. And I like that approach on, on your end um, because, yeah, people will gravitate to you because Shireen is, is giving the information <laughs> out. Let me see what I can learn uh, from her, which is which is great. Let's just uh, chit chat a little about covid and um the surge in social media advertising because now a lot of people and we in traditional media have taken a blow a lot of people say you know i could just advertise on instagram (laughs) i don't need to advertise on radio or tv um so social media has would you say picked up since the covid Yes, there are so many businesses joining social media. I must say, even if social media, we're in the social media era right now, you still need your traditional radio and TV. Say that again. Thank you. You still need your traditional forms of marketing, your radio, your TV, your flyers. Because let me tell you, not everybody's on social media. As much as you will think, oh, my people are on social media. Sometimes your target audience is not on social media and you have to resort to your traditional ways of marketing. Mm-hmm. But... We didn't pay her for that. <laughs> <laughs> but on the other end, mm-hmm. um, social media is very important. There are a lot of small businesses, a lot of startups these days and everybody's online. But the problem with being online is that everybody don't know what to do and they just all over the place and they're doing all kinds of things and it's not working out for them because they're wasting money running ads on social media and all of these things and it's not working out right so that is why you need blue media marketing in your life mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> now uh, i just want to get into sharing all of some information because you're so good at uh, doing that um and i think a lot of people who have worked with you definitely say the same thing that she is great and she is willing to share everything that she possibly can uh, with her her clients and you're willing to do that today uh with us on the uh, program one of the things that you you just mentioned was about your target audience a lot of businesses i've realized that they there are so many different platforms that pop up before you blink your eye there's a new a new it for social media and some businesses feel like they have to spread themselves everywhere because tiktok is in uh trilla is (laughs) is in i need to be here i need to be there but uh, being on each platform you have not built 
um, that stage as yet and you're just spreading yourself thin, what should companies look for, um, especially small businesses as well? You want to go where the people are, but you don't know exactly how to go about doing that. Okay, first of all, you you you, you don't have to be on every, every. single social media platform. Mm-hmm. Okay, um, what you need to do when you start your business is figure out who your target audience is. I know it is not a simple task, but it's trial and error. You have to decide who who is wants to buy your product, why they want to buy it, what problem you're solving, and you decide where they're hanging out. So if they're hanging out on Instagram, that is where you should be. If they're on TikTok and Instagram, that is where you should be. If they're only on TikTok, that is where you should be. But you shouldn't there is no reason to be on every single platform you know what happens because you have to create content you have to be engaging you have to do all of these things and these things are very time consuming so you cannot be stretching out yourself and then you cannot keep up and then oh this page gets abandoned and just stay where your, your target audience is so once you decide where your target audience is then you can create content and you can be on the platform that they are and you can engage with them right now there are so many people who are probably doing the same thing that you're doing especially with the small businesses that you work with i'm mm-hmm. sure you you get that very often that you know i'm i'm doing this but i see like 10 other people <laughs> doing the same thing um how can i stand out uh, compared to those uh, individuals who already start to have a, a following and I'm just coming in fresh into the game. How can I stand out uh, with my, my content building and all that? Okay, so um, with me, with Blue Media Marketing, we do not market anything that we have not used or experienced. Nice. So okay. if you have a business, we will use your products, we will use your services, and then we can market. But we don't really do any marketing these days. We, we switch to the more consultancy Consult. and training aspect. Mm-hmm. Now, you as a new business coming onto social media, first of all, like I said, you need to figure out who your target audience is. The second thing is you need to find out what your unique value proposition is. This is what makes you unique, what makes you stand out. And you use that to create content that makes you stand out. Now, the type of content you should be on social media, you shouldn't be selling on social media, period. You should be social on social media. Now, Shireen, you know, (laughs) I I am sure a lot of people just said, "Ah, (laughs) what? (laughs) Because you, you know... Instagram has a, like a billion, e- even in St. Lucia, just speaking on St. Lucia alone, there are like a billion little businesses selling uh, the price in the caption. That's all you see. And if you realize mm-hmm. when they just post the price in the caption and all of these things, they only have like two likes, five likes, three likes, mm-hmm. four likes. Okay, so, so I, I would love you to explain <laughs> that for, for us. Uh, so you're saying don't, you don't sell. sell. You don't sell on social media. On social media. You be, you, it's social media. That's where people come to forget their problems and be social. So mm-hmm. why would you be putting your throwing your, your, your products down their throat or selling, selling, selling. That is not the approach you should be taking. Basically, what you're supposed to be doing is appealing to the emotions of your target audience. So you have to show them that they absolutely need what you're selling without actually telling them that. So what you need to do is create use the 80-20 rule. There's an 80-20 rule for social media. Somebody <laughs> just said they took out their pen and paper. <laughs> She knows what she's talking about. Yes. <laughs> so the eighty twenty rule states mm-hmm. that eighty percent of your social media um, posts are supposed to be get towards educating, informing, entertainment, and all of these kinds of things. And the twenty percent is where you market. All right. So out when you scroll for your social, when I scroll for your so, your social media pages, I'm supposed to be seeing eighty percent of your content is supposed to be informing me, entertaining me, or educating me. And the other twenty percent is where you market whatever you you you're selling. All okay. right. But as much as possible, your content must be engaging your content must be something that appeals to p- your, your your audience emotions and they have to absolutely need it you cannot have a skincare you cannot sell, be selling skincare products 
and you're showing me a, a woman on your page who is who has flawless skin how is that supposed to appeal to me with somebody as somebody with acne mm -hmm. you understand so show me the real deal show me how your product transforms this one person from having severe acne to you know at least having nice skin right so you you're working on their emotions there exactly mm -hmm. so i'm like oh my god i'm suffering oh my god i need this product i absolutely need it because you're seeing the transformation from one thing to the other mm -hmm. so you in your mind you absolutely need it and what i always keep telling my clients your target audience was to absolutely need what you're selling it doesn't matter if you're selling a pen give them a reason to need it that so much so that they absolutely have to buy it okay so that is basically it in a nutshell now you you said that and i have i i had so many international companies and brands that i i follow and it it just hit me it, it was like a little light bulb moment i realized that's exactly what they're doing they uh they don't have all the the pricing and stuff they just create the content to make you say oh wow okay i, I want this it. okay. Click link in bio. <laughs> yes it's true uh so there are many who uh, follow that rule and it is a little more appealing it becomes like a uh elite feeling like you know i'm getting this and I could exactly rock this, because your your audience will trust you more because mm -hmm. they know you, you you know your stuff you know what you're saying as it, like for example if you I'll still go to let's 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 switch a little bit let's go to food yes. right you say you're a master chef and all of that how do I know you're actually a master chef or how do I know that your food tastes good if you're giving me information and you know your stuff I absolutely will want to buy from you because I know you know your stuff and I know your stuff must be tasting really well even if I've never had it in my life. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So, and again, one thing with content too, you have to, there are certain things you have, you absolutely need when you're posting your content. If you're posting photos, make sure your photos are high quality i am tired of going i'm um, scrolling from instagram and seeing blurry photos that will not bring you anywhere okay people will scroll past it but if somebody says sherry that's all i can afford now <laughs> my phone not too good but i try to make it work <laughs> well it, proper lighting okay makes a huge difference, difference. with photos okay. the, a simple thing as just wiping your camera your back camera before taking a photo there's a huge it makes a huge difference for a photo so all of these little things you need to take into consideration when you're posting your, your videos also videos supposed to be high quality um your content always needs a caption because remember the photo or the video is just reeling people in your caption is supposed to secure the sale for you mm -hmm. or secure the lead so you must include a caption because when you if you just post a photo nobody will know what you what you're talking about like sometimes the photos don't say everything that it needs to say so adding a caption is very important adding a call to action because you're just posting stuff but you're not telling me how i can reach you okay call to action is very important comment like link in bio um you know dm us whatever all of these are very important another thing is location tags believe it or not a lot of people search locations on instagram and if you add your location tag when they search that location there is a possibility that your your post will pop up mm -hmm. so location tags are very important um let me see location tags you can tag people tagging people is very important too that helps you be become visible mm -hmm. um I, I keep forget i'm forgetting <laughs> because it's a lot there's, I, there's so much yeah. i mean i have videos on my page that that covers a lot of these topics so you can just go follow the page blue media marketing blu blue mm -hmm. marketing 758 on instagram and you will get all of that information i have all of these that information on my page but yeah. it's a lot to digest it is <laughs> um and like you said about the content creation and stuff i'm sure you you get um clients all the time who say okay well i'm a i'm an entrepreneur i have a small business it's just me i'm not able to do all that magic that um i need to do in order to make it work what would be your advice to these people okay um try as much as possible to learn um, different things because I mean you will not always have the funds to pay somebody so that is why I stress on learning mm -hmm. um, you can watch videos you can you know do all of these things and try to um, educate yourself if you can't do something there is no reason why you cannot ask somebody I have a lot of people coming into my inbox oh this question is so um, silly but how do you do a boomerang 
And I'm like, there is nothing wrong with not knowing how to do a boomerang. Mm -hmm. I will definitely show you. I mean, um, you can hop into my inbox and ask for anything. I am very willing to assist. Um, but as much as possible, you need to try to learn for yourself. Yeah. Learn. Yeah. And that's where your company uh, really shines, uh, you know, providing that knowledge to persons on the outside. Uh, so let's just get a, back a little to uh, Blue Media Marketing. Like we said, uh, the company was founded in 2017. You're officially registered in 2019 because you're so busy helping clients <laughs> <laughs> that you finally made the time. And uh, now you pride yourself on providing the social media marketing results. Results. Uh, you've done consultancy. You continue to assist persons with social media training, paid setups, um, management, and all of that. How does one go about getting in contact with you, Shireen, and starting off a training session? How is it done? Is it one-on-one? -on -one? Uh, can persons just register? Are you going to have maybe webinars? I think you <laughs> should um, in, in, in the near future. What's next for your company? Okay, so if you, um, the process of getting in touch with me, you can send me a message, a DM on Instagram, Blue Marketing, BLU Marketing 758. Mm -hmm. um, first of all, we have a consultation with you mm -hmm. um, to know what your business goals are and what your needs are as a business. And then we decide wh what kind of um, services that you need. So we don't just tell you, um, give you a pricing and whatnot, but we actually work with you based on what you're lacking. And then we try to build on that. Mm -hmm. um, you can also get me on 712-4590. You can send me a WhatsApp message or just call me. That is fine. Um, I do. I currently do one-on-one -on -one training sessions. It's only one hundred and fifty dollars for the three days. For three days, um, it's one one-hour sessions. I also do group sessions. I currently have one that's happening on the twenty-eighth of September. You can register in advance. Um, there's a link on my page on um, Instagram. Mm -hmm. You can sign up and make your payment right there. We're, we're doing online payments via Penny Pinch, PayPal, and also bank transfers. Um, so you can just go to our page and the, all the information is right there. Wonderful. All right. That sounds pretty exciting. So the business is growing. We're happy to hear that. And more and more people are, are coming to you for, for that uh, sort of advice. You also do social media audits as well. Yes. Tell us a little bit about that, Shereen. Okay. The social media audit is basically an overview of what, how your social media page is doing. And then we give you suggestions as to how you can improve certain aspects of that. So, for example, if you um, you have a problem, you're not getting enough followers or you say you're not getting enough engagement and stuff, we check your analytics, we check your content, and then we give you suggestions as to how you can improve your page. Okay. That's it in a nutshell. All right. Now, earlier you mentioned ab about followers, where you got that response <laughs> when you just started off the business. How many followers do you have? A lot of people who go to companies, uh, whether it is for endorsements or to work with them on something, the if not the only question they ask, that's like the make or break for them, is how many <laughs> followers do you have? And like you said, followers is not necessarily what you go by. So for all those listening today who are so... Um, you know, determined, obsessed, obsessed with, <laughs> with your following numbers. How could somebody counteract that, uh, that, that, that request? Okay. Um, there are micro, macro, and huge followers, um, um, influencers, sorry. Um, the micro influencers are basically less than 500. If you have a following of less than $500, um, let me dollars, eh? <laughs> it could be dollars too, yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> macro is when you have like 500 and above, but not 10K. You okay. know, the, the huge influencers are 10K and 10K. more, right? Mm -hmm. The micro and the macro influencers actually, um, bring in more sales for a company than your 10k followers why because they have a smaller um following the fact that they are more connected with their followers because when you have 10k followers like you don't care with half of the 10k mm -hmm. but if you have 500 or you have at least over 500 or 5,000 followers you are more of that personal um interaction that personal connection with your followers so uh, the studies show that 
majority of the micro and macro influencers actually generate more sales for a company than your 10k i don't say i'm not saying that 10k if you have 10k followers you cannot you know give your um create sales and stuff like that what i'm saying is you can take a chance on a micro a micro or macro influencer because they do have an influence they may not have the huge influence that you may see with all of these 10k um um instagrammers Mm -hmm. but they do have that personal um connection Mm -hmm. with their followers because i don't i don't even have two thousand followers on on instagram Mm -hmm. honestly i don't um but when i post stuff especially in my stories a lot of people inquire about it a lot of people purchase it a lot of people follow the pages engagement is high uh so what is the uh, in terms of so following doesn't necessarily no um equal engagement following doesn't necessarily equal a sale Mm -hmm. following doesn't necessarily equal engagement you can have i will use ten thousand again you can have ten thousand followers and only have 50 likes or only have one comment or one share on your post why because followers do not necessarily mean engagement engagement comes with proper content and you know informative content entertaining if you realize most of the memes pages have a lot of engagement because they're entertaining Mm -hmm. and they're using everything that around them to make sure you have a nice laugh at the end of the day so that is why most times a lot of people gravitate towards their page because they make you forget about your worries and you're on social media right so you're if you're doing any one of these things entertaining inspiring educating any of these things your following will naturally grow and you don't have to beg for followers or worry about followers i always tell people followers don't matter instagram algorithm don't care about followers Mm -hmm. all they care about is engagement and when your posts are engaging you will end up on the explore page and we all know what happens on the (laughs) explore Explore page (laughs) (laughs) that's right that's where you want to land exactly i think that that was that was perfect um because too you you may be following somebody with uh 10k we'll use that 10k again Mm -hmm. and they post something they post an ad and you feel like it to for me sometimes it just comes off as a little superficial because like yeah, I just posted you just posted because. it because you want me to go and buy it and you know you don't really care who buys it or you know it it has that that kind of standoffish uh, type of vibe from it um, but it's true you have the smaller and and you, every time you say that I have so many great examples <laughs> in my head um, you have the smaller as you call it micro and macro. macro mm-hmm. um, accounts where they post something and there's so much more engaging and interactive with that post compared to the 10k not saying anything wrong it's yeah we're not saying anything wrong with the 10k you could take a chance on on the micro and macro yeah and most times the people with the 10k i'm not knocking down the 10k instagram and some of them build this stuff from scratch yes big up to them but most times a lot of them just buy their followers and when you buy followers then you don't get engagement and that that is not good because if you if you're telling me you're marketing for me and you're buying your followers that means people will never see my stuff right real but then how many Many companies who employ these persons they, actually look for that information because they, they don't. They don't. You have ten. Let's use another number. <laughs> you have fifteen thousand followers, and um, I give you my product to, to advertise. And like you said, that doesn't equate to anything. Yeah. So you have to know what you're looking for um, in terms of results from these individuals. Exactly. Which is some great advice. So the engagements and uh, the statistics matter more than your, your yes, followers. Because when you check your analytics, is reach and impressions we're looking at. How many unique people your post has reached and how many people have seen your post. So if you don't have engagement, then your reach and your impressions are not going to be all that okay so engagement is key it's key all right there you have it all right so shireen again just send your contact information out so for all those who are their one-on-one consultation with you for for you to help them make their business grow give them a better social media presence how could we contact you 
So my phone number is 712-4590. You can send me a WhatsApp message or call me. Um, you can email blue media marketing at gmail. Um, Instagram, BLU Marketing 758. I don't really use Facebook, but you can hit me up on Facebook, Blue Media Marketing. Yeah, Instagram is where the source is. So. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I, I was just about to ask you, because uh, because you're a, you're an IG girl uh, compared to Facebook. Yeah. Why do you think that transition happened and people just gravitate now to Instagram um, in terms of, of getting connected and staying social? Well, based on what I've read, mm-hmm. um, a lot of the buying, the, the, the people with the buying power are on Instagram. Facebook is more of a community. I always say that Facebook yeah. is more of a community um, kind of thing. So if you have some a, a business, and I wouldn't say a business, uh, but some businesses thrive on Facebook, I won't lie. But if you have something like a, a charity or something like that, Facebook is your place. That's my opinion. But Instagram is where the sauce is. It's where the it's sauce where the is. Sauce is. And you would say Instagram has been able to still lead the pack in terms of the uh, social media platforms, even with the TikTok and all that uh, coming in. Instagram is kind of falling on the wayside like. because <laughs> I started giving TikTok some some um, some attention, yeah. and and I don't even want to be on Instagram anymore. anymore. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, but then again, your target audience is what matters. My, yeah, my target audience mm-hmm. is on Instagram, so I'm sticking to Instagram with. With TikTok, it's almost the same thing. Um, engagement, um, you you know, you have to check, you have to create great content, informing, inspiring, educating, entertaining, yeah. all of these things. Um, it's almost the same way. So uh, it, the, even if you you shine on Facebook, on, sorry, on Instagram, doesn't mean you will shine, shine on, on TikTok, TikTok. Yes, but the 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 uh, how do I say that the thing the. the Whatever you need to be doing is almost the same mm-hmm. for the two platforms. Would you say it's it's harder to build on TikTok? Because no, you, it, okay. Instagram is one of the most difficult, difficult social media platforms to grow on. Mm-hmm. I will tell you that much. I started using TikTok like what a few days ago, mm-hmm. and I already have two hundred followers. Mm-hmm. And I just started using TikTok. It's very easy to get followers and views, and as long as you know what you're doing. Mm-hmm. Instagram is more difficult because yeah. you have to literally do the work for you to be able to build something on Instagram. So you have to be consistent. You have to keep um, doing trial and error. You have to keep checking your analytics, see what works, see, see what, what doesn't, doesn't work. Yeah. It's something that you have to invest a lot of time and effort into if you really want to grow on that platform. Mm-hmm. Wonderful. Well, Shereen, we thank you so much for sharing uh, all that advice uh, with our listeners. I know a lot of people are taking notes and they're going to go <laughs> back to the drawing board now and try to implement it. I know you'll be getting in those calls a lot of people will be looking forward to uh, getting some more advice for all those who do, do depend on social media uh, for your sales you need to ensure that you have a great strategy in place and Shireen is here to help you with that uh, so give them a check out Blue Media Marketing and the blue is spelled B-L-U how yes. did you come up with the name though Shireen I forgot <laughs> to ask you blue is my favorite color okay <laughs> blue is my favorite color and um, one of my friends suggested that I don't use the, the B-L-U U-E because there are other businesses with the B-L-U-E so I said B-L-U but after I implemented B-L-U um, I realized there was another business in St. Lucia with B-L-U but mm-hmm. they're uh, a graphics design okay. um, business mm-hmm. so everybody thinks that we're kind of the same yeah and another friend and of the- mine her name is Blue B-L-U mm-hmm. she actually has her Blue Organics and it's B-L-U so everybody thinks it's Ah, okay, okay. <laughs> well, they're different. <laughs> so you can follow them on uh, social media, Blue Marketing 758. Mm-hmm. That's the handle. And uh, you can get in contact and get your business booming a little more on these uh, social platforms. Uh, Shireen and her team are happy to help you out with that. Shireen, thank you so much for joining us today. And we wish you all the very best with your business. You've been uh, doing a great job. You know, a lot of people are talking about uh, your business and uh, all the services the great uh, knowledge that you offer so congratulations and keep up the good work 
Thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank you so much. All <laughs> right. Behind the Business brought to you compliments of Courts Ready Cash. Remember, Courts Ready Cash provides CPI, credit protection insurance on all loans. And that means if you've been made redundant or you lose your job, they have you covered for one year of payments. Yes, ask about it. It's credit protection insurance or CPI for short. Check out any Courts location for that information and start fresh with the cash you need. Need. Courts Ready Cash, ready when you are. Hassle free loans for your every need. Courts have you covered, best believe. Are the kids headed by the, the way? The way. 94.5 and 93.7 FM. The hits. The way. The way. 94.5 and 93.7 FM. The hits. The way, the way, ninety four point five and ninety three point seven FM. The hits. The way, the way.